Hi, I'm Anne, and in today's video, we will be exploring the conditional tenses in English with some examples. So by the end of this video, you will feel much more comfortable using the conditional tenses in everyday conversation in English. So let's get started. We use the zero conditional to talk about things that always happen or that happen very often. For example, when it rains, the ground gets wet. So the structure of the zero conditional is when or if in the first clause plus a present tense verb. And in the second clause, you would say, you would use the present tense again, okay? So when it rains, present tense, the ground gets wet, okay? So let me give you a few more examples of when to use the zero conditional. If I get six hours of sleep, I feel grumpy, okay? Because I always feel grumpy if I get six hours of sleep, okay? So let me see, how about when I get home from work, I eat a healthy snack. It happens almost every time it's used to describe these events that always occur, okay? And also, why don't you try to form a zero conditional using this prompt? What always happens when it snows? And you can write your response in the comments. Let's talk about the first conditional. We use the first conditional to talk about a possible future. So if I study every day, I will pass the exam. Okay, if I eat vegetables every day, I will feel healthy. And another example might be if I do yoga, I will get more flexible and become stronger, for example. Now notice the structure of the first conditional. In this first clause, you have an if clause plus the present tense in the first clause, if I do yoga, then in the second clause you have will plus um, the infinitive, okay? And then I will get more flexible or I will grow stronger, for example, okay? So that is the first conditional in a nutshell. The question I have for you is, if it is sunny tomorrow, what will you do? Let's talk about the second conditional. We use the second conditional to talk about a hypothetical or an imagined situation that we really don't expect to have to happen. For example, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a new Porsche and a mansion near the beach, okay? If I had more time, I would go to the gym and I would probably write a novel, okay? And if I had more friends, I would go out more for coffee and for drinks. If you had more time, what would you do? Let's talk about the third conditional, which is usually the hardest conditional and it's usually the trickiest um, conditional for my students. Why is it so hard? Well, I think it's the structure and it's the fact that you have to have participles and you have to use the past perfect. And so it gets really confusing for students, but this is the conditional we use to talk about an imagined past. And um, let me give you a little e an example. Okay, if I had found a parking place um, I would have arrived to the party sooner, okay? Notice that the structure is if plus the past perfect in the first clause, so if I had found a parking place, and then in the second clause, would have plus the participle, I would have found a new, a better, sorry, I would have arrived sooner to the party, okay? So this uh, third conditional tense can be used for a variety of situations that 
you uh, that happened in the past that you think, oh, it could have gone differently. It might have ha happened a different way if something had changed. Now, let me give you an example about the weather. If it hadn't rained today, I would have worn a dress to work. Okay. And if, if you had been born in the United States, how would your life have been different? Let's talk about the mixed conditionals. When do we use mixed conditionals? Well, we use mixed conditionals to talk about something that happened in the past that affects our current situation. And the structure is easier to use than the third conditional structure. Because in the first clause, you're using a past tense. And in the second clause, you're using would. Okay, so something that happened in the past. For example, if I hadn't gone to the party, it affects me now. I would be happy. Okay, because something bad happened at the party. Okay, so another example might be, um, let's see, if the, inter if the internet hadn't been in invented, I would spend my free time doing artistic projects, dancing, I would um, knit and do um, lots of creative activities. Okay, so something in the past that affects my present situation. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope that I have clarified some of the confusion and that you feel a little bit more confident using the conditional tenses in English. You can also take the quizzes on my blog post about the conditional tenses. So I recommend that you go into the comments and click on the link to the blog post that goes with this video and you will get even more practice and I think it will become clearer and more solidified in your brain so that you will be able to use these tenses with more and more confidence. If you would like to sign up for a consultation on my website, uh, I teach online English classes for career advancement. I'm also a TOEFL IBT coach and you can download my guide to the 2021 um, TOEFL IBT speaking exam. And I would love to hear from you in the comments.